This is Red Carpet Flies News on the Fly, bringing you daily unique and interesting entertainment, celebrity, and luxury news for January 11th. Please make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to Red Carpet Fly and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode of News on the Fly. Okay, let's jump into these headlines. So it's been a minute since I talked about cryptocurrency and NFTs, but they're back. Kim Kardashian, Floyd Mayweather, and Paul Pierce sued for alleged involvement in crypto scam. According to a Complex magazine article, Kim Kardashian, Floyd Mayweather, and Paul Pierce are among those being sued for their promotion of cryptocurrency, Ethereum Max, reports The Hollywood Reporter. The class action lawsuit filed on Friday in California federal court accuses the stars of colluding with Emacs co-founders Steve Gentle and Giovanni Peroni as part of an organized pump and dump scheme causing investors to purchase these losing investments at inflated prices. Alleging violations of state consumer protection laws, common law over aiding and abetting and unjust enrichment, the suit essentially accuses the celebrities of promoting worthless tokens. The company's executives collaborating with several celebrity promoters a made false or misleading statements to investors about Ethereum Max through social media advertisements and other promotional activities, and b disguised their control over Ethereum Max and a significant percent of Emax tokens that were available for public trading during the relevant period. The complaint reads. Back in June, Kardashian promoted Ethereum Max to her over 250 million followers on Instagram. Are you guys into crypto? Kim wrote, This is not financial advice, but sharing what my friends just told me about Ethereum Max token. A few minutes ago, Ethereum Max burned 4 trillion tokens, literally 50% of their admin wallet giving back to their entire Emax community. Shortly after Kim's post, the price of the token shot up more than 1,370%. The price has since dropped nearly 98%. This meteoric rise did not last long, and Ethereum Max began to deflate immediately after defendant Kardashian's post. The complaint reads, on July 15th, the price of Emax token hit its all-time low of 0.0000017 per unit, a 98% drop from which it has not been able to recover. A month prior to Kim's post, Pierce promoted the tokens amid a dispute with his former employer ESPN. Meanwhile, Floyd wore trunks featuring the advertisement for Ethereum Max during his exhibition boxing match against Logan Paul in June. The promoter defendants' improper promotional activities generated the trading volume needed for all the defendants to offload their Emax tokens onto unsuspecting investors, the complaint states. While plaintiff and class members were buying the inappropriately promoted Emax tokens, defendants were able to and did sell their Emax tokens during the relevant period for substantial profits. Kardashian, Mayweather, and Pierce have yet to comment on the allegations. So I just invested in cryptocurrency recently and roughly bought about $1,000 worth of cryptocurrency. And honey, when I tell you I did my research, I did my research, okay? Plus, I had to be a little extra diligent because there are some guidelines I need to abide by for the company I work for before buying stock and cryptocurrency, etc. Anyways, I invested in Bitcoin and Ethereum, which according to my research, are the oldest cryptocurrencies out there. Cryptocurrency is very new, so I wanted to invest in something that had a little bit of history. Also, there is cryptocurrency and then there's crypto tokens, which are two different things, so I wanted to make sure I invested in cryptocurrency. I like to invest in aggressive funds and stocks, but I wanna make sure I make the smart choice. Bitcoin and Ethereum have been around long enough to have some analytics out, which I could refer to. It's very exciting getting into this field, but please, 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 please make sure you do your due diligence. Cryptocurrency is like the Wild West right now, and I'm not sure there is much government regulation like in traditional investments, so it will be interesting to see how this case unfolds. Again, for those of you investing and even mining in cryptocurrency, make sure you're doing your homework because it might be hard hard to recoup your investment. Government and the law is still trying to catch up with cryptocurrency, so buyer beware. Apple AirTags can be used to discreetly and secretly track people. 
Air tags can be extremely useful in helping keep up with your stuff like your wallet, your car keys, and even your remote control. However, there is a darker side to Apple Air tags. I've been wanting to report on this story because I've seen a number of articles addressing how people, thieves, have been using Apple Air tags to secretly track people by dropping the Air tag in their jacket pocket or purse, or even putting it on unsuspecting victims' cars. According to an Inside Edition report, a Sports Illustrated model is reporting that someone planted a tiny tracking device in her coat when she was out with friends at a New York bar. She got an alert on her iPhone that read, Unknown Accessory Detected. This item has been moving with you for a while. The owner can see its location. It has been reported that these air tags have also been placed discreetly on cars and predators can follow the car's location and steal the car if it's not locked up behind a gate or a garage. Some popular places to place air tags on cars have been found um, by the car tires and right around the gas tank iPhone users will be alerted to the device tracking them, but if you have an Android, you will not be alerted. But Apple has recently released an app called Track Detector that will allow everyone to get such notifications. This is a scary story. Imagine you just going through your everyday process and someone unknowingly is tracking you. I have an Android, so I wouldn't even know. So I have downloaded the Track Detector app. You can never be too sure out here in these streets. I encourage everyone to stay vigilant because we are living in some savage times. If you have an Android and have not downloaded that app, get it. Drake seemingly responds to the rumor that he put hot sauce and condom. So there's this wild rumor that's been going around about Drake sleeping with this girl. And then after they get done doing the do, Drake allegedly walks into the bathroom and disposes of the condom. But before he does, he puts hot sauce in the condom, I guess to destroy or compromise the integrity of his semen. Anywho, the story goes that the girl goes into the bathroom after Drake and tries to retrieve the sperm in the condom by inserting it into herself but to her surprise she yells out in horror when she gets burned by the hot sauce this is like the stupidest story i have heard of a girl trying to allegedly trap a celebrity guy she is allegedly filing a lawsuit against drake over this so drake has responded in a caption in his latest Instagram post, he insinuated that his alleged sexual partner was hungry for her 15 minutes of fame. He captioned in his IG post, You can have your 15 minutes of fame. I'll take the other 23 and 45 minutes. On his collaboration with Brent Fias, Wasting Time, Drake admits to the lengths he goes to to ensure that no one is trying to take advantage of him in the bedroom. Gold medalist, flush the magnums just so they not collected my specimens. Damn, he raps. I didn't even bother to report on this story because I thought it was a fake story. You know, clickbait. But now that Drake is responding, it gives it more legitimacy. Drake became a trending topic as social media weighed in with memes and jokes after the alleged hot sauce incident. You guys gotta see these memes, they're hilarious and that's why the internet is undefeated. I'm at a loss of words right now, I really am. But. I do know like when guys or for anybody, when you're at a certain level, especially like professional athletes and celebrities, girls can be trifling and they will try to come up off a check on you. So, you know, I don't totally blame Drake for trying to take precautions. I wonder who told Drake about this little hot sauce secret or did he just think it up himself one day? Anyway, that's it for Red Carpet Flies news on the fly for January 11th. Please like, follow, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Red Carpet Fly, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Red Carpet Fly. And until tomorrow, always stay fly.